Wake up, wake up, wake up. 37 degrees, but promise sunshine today. JC? Let me heat up a little bit on some uh, Chick fil A. Chick fil A this morning, Ooh. the minis. Mm -hmm. Hey, good morning. I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM on a Friday morning edition of Cooper Company Live. First timers join us today, not Matthew, he's an old timer, but joining us today, Bug Stompers and Allied Services, Marty and Allen in here this morning saying, I don't know what I'm in for. Good morning, boys. But they're here. But I'm ready for it. Yeah, you're ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> that was today. You know, I told y'all about that great meeting we had the other day. It was these guys right here. I laughed for two hours trying to take over my job. Tim's in here too. He joins us. Frank and Abby and everybody else. This portion of the show brought to you by Hometown Market. Five locations, one near you. Zach's in his hole over there this morning. Zach. Did you give me those photos I asked for yesterday? No, I didn't. We're going to talk about <laughs> I that. I don't care how legal it is. We're going to talk about that just a minute. Too, Matthew, you may not be up to date on some of the rulings going on lately, and I'll inform all, everybody today. Lots of things to talk about. Don't forget, we spring forward uh, Saturday, well, Sunday morning at 2 a.m. I'll probably be up and just do it live at 2. Uh, just do it Saturday. Spring forward. What is that? But I'm going to tell you, I've got a report that says that ain't good for us. Of course, now, if you're in a situation like me, I like going to bed about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. If I could, when it's dark like that. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about, too. Not only talk with Alan and Marty about Alan. They'll be at the home show this weekend in Huntsville starting today, this afternoon. And then tomorrow, we'll make our way out there where thousands of people will be finding out what you need to get for your house. But they'll explain all the services they offer. We'll talk to Matthew about the big run coming up in April. And we'll hear from Zach in just a little bit. But before we do that, let's talk about the weather because, hey... It's springtime, Frank, whether you know it or not. It's going to be like 80 before long. <laughs> I'm glad you're not giving the forecast because not quite 80. We do have 37 out there right now, but things are going to warm up. We're going to see some sunshine today. And, yes, soon we will see temperatures close to 80. But today, 63 for your high. Plenty of sunshine today, so just enjoy. It'll make everyone happy. Frankie, if that's you, good morning calling. All right, 68 <laughs> for that high tomorrow. And your low temperatures of 40. No rain to really worry about until possibly Monday with, of course, 70% chance of those showers. Late Monday into Tuesday. Hang up, Frankie. And it's going to be beautiful. Look, the clothes aren't so bad, but we do have one more cold front to reach us before, of course, spring sticks around. According to Frank, my weatherman. Yeah. Yes. Hey, boys, how y'all? Thanks for coming up. Good. Bug Stompers. Yes. Who came up with that name? I did, and I got made fun of about it for a little bit. Well, it's, it's memorable. Good, it is. Memorable. We'll talk about that. Who came up with Chick fil A? <laughs> oh, well, you know, that was true. That was true, man. <laughs> well, all right, let me update y'all. Now, Marty, you know you got to spring forward this weekend. I wouldn't want you to be late for an appointment or anything. Yep. Saturdays in the USA Today on this Friday morning, daytime savings can be hazardous to your health, Matthew. You know me, I'm always on top of news, current events. So, uh, Monday and Tuesday, the risk of having a car accident rises 6%. Did you know wow. that? I did not know that. Research shows as our chances of being in a workplace accident also go up. Contrary to popular belief, switching our clocks doesn't save energy. It adds to our tab, Shane. Mm. Hey, Shane. Adds to our tab. It's a good thing you take Monday off. I'd hate for you to have a work-related injury on Monday. <laughs> I'm still to trying work. to pay off two months ago's utility bill. <laughs> That's probably you know, true. Making payments on it. Not to be a killjoy, but management professors say they only see a downside to the time shift, which robs us of at least 40 minutes of sleep on Monday morning. Hmm. 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Now, see, you guys are probably working all 24 hours a day doing what y'all do. As much as they're going to be working this weekend, they'll need to sleep. Yeah, I know. They'll have, that's a big deal over that way. Yeah. Workplace injuries go up. Traffic accidents go up. It's down the road and don't go to work. Well, see, I just wish you'd get, you'd go, you know, you could go to sleep about go dark, get about dark about 4 o'clock. All right, before we go any further, I've got to talk about the subject yesterday. You, <laughs> Shane, pay attention. Now, yesterday, Zach, did you give me any photos up under women's skirts yesterday? No photos. You never will. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. They rule, Matthew, in Boston, a guy got, Alan, pay attention, a guy got on, su on the subway, stuck his camera phone up under skirts and took photos. Correct. Goes to court. The judge says, no kidding, as long as they weren't wearing panties, it was legal. 
So it is only illegal if they're commando. Yeah, if <laughs> commando means no under, no underneath. No so no, you know, we're yes. going to Papa Rocco's next week, and I'll be wearing a kilt down there. <laughs> you well, naturally, not. I'll be commando. <laughs> so I mean, if somebody wants to, a girl wants, to, I'm just going to do spread eagle. You know, give them a full view. And you won't be shy, will you? Are, are you going to press charges if they take that picture of you? No, he'll say Yeah, because they again. didn't take enough photos. <laughs> huh? But I mean, it's legal. So. You know, I asked Frank, I said, Frank, do you know how to use your cell phone? They're trying to change that. Well, Frank says, I, I do, but I don't know how to take a picture. No, he, says I, I do, to, he says, he said, I know how to take a picture. I don't know well, what to do with it. makes the story better. Pitch. If it makes the story better, if he doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> so, and Zach says, well, I don't know about my camera either. So you know what they wanted to know? Could I let them borrow a camera? So I says, yeah, take this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then you see a good-looking woman, whatever, just turn it on, and nobody would notice. You're trying to get people You're in trouble. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Anybody would notice. Exactly, Matthew. Huh? I'm staying You're trying to get people in trouble, Jay. Mm -hmm. Zach, you put a tape in this, and you turn it <laughs> on, Frank, and you just do like this, and then if a red light's on, you're on. Well, he is Mr. Now, they'll Light. probably need that in court as evidence since you actually <laughs> took. Now, I don't know about video. It just said pictures. But same as. Yeah. No. Well. I'm just asking. Shane may be more up to date on that than I am. I mean, yes, I'm not. Absolutely. I'm not Shane's that. Uh, huh? to to he was the party it. man on the cruise. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Zach, let's hit the green light right quick. See what Zach's got going on in his world. Don't forget, if you're sick, dying, or got a pet that's the same way, hit Zach up at BamaZach. Gmail.com and Zach will get right to it. Let's get the green light right now. What's shaking, Zach? I got a couple emails yesterday. The one when you talked about the kilt story, Jamie. Yeah. Uh, got one from. Uh, Carl, he said, next time Jamie talks about you wearing a kilt, tell him you're, you can't because it's too short for your manhood. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> and also, uh, also, uh, also, Jeff Crawford. Is uh, it true they nicknamed you Tripod? No. Stop. Uh, also, uh, this this is serious right here, Jamie. Uh, Jeff Crawford, who's the nurse practitioner yeah. up in Elkmont, yep. right. he's in very serious condition in Huntsville, and uh, they're asking for prayers. Come to find out, he's actually a distant cousin to me. So. Well, I heard that from uh, Brad Stovall this week. When I was down at Brad's. Uh, he's a good friend of Brad. He said that he was in very bad situation. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very bad. I think he saw a little improvement yesterday, so they definitely, I mean, he's big, you know, he helps a lot of people up in Elkmont, so they're, they're really hurting right now for that. He's young, so. too. Yeah, younger than me. Mm hmm That's young. Well, you in a silent mode? <laughs> no, uh, uh, talking about uh, Cyrus Quanjo, you heard about the latest on that, hadn't you? No. Dr. James Andrews and Dr. Lynn Kane, uh, who I believe performed the surgery on Cyrus back his freshman year, they're sending out things to all the 32 NFL teams saying Cyrus Quanjo's knees are fine. You know, they're saying that you, I wouldn't waste a draft pick on this guy. They're saying his knee's fine, draft the kid, he's going to have a long NFL career. So somebody's probably going to get a steal late first round because if you, Dr. Andrews knows what he's talking about. And if, if you listen to him, then this guy ought to have a long career in the NFL. All right, Zach, hang on. i got to go to something else right quick. <laughs> You, all the, everybody in this room, Tim, Shane, Zach, Frank, has got to sign a letter today before you leave to me. Yeah, NBC okay. started this. Now I'm going to follow through with it. Mm, Anybody it? that wants to be on this show cannot make any other appearances on any other radio or TV stations. You hear that? I'm on there. I'm on one tomorrow. I'm well, not you're signing. fired, Jack. I'm not signing. You cannot <laughs> appear on 1931, 48, whatever. Nobody can. So I can't be on the Today Show next week? Unless you add, unless I approve it. Management here approves it. They're doing that. To people trying to get on the Jimmy Fowler. <laughs> Shane, that goes to you and Mark, too. You he can't do that. it. You've got to sign a release saying you're going to stick with me because I made y'all famous. He's going to talk to management. Now, that does not mean I can't do anything like that, but, you know, uh, <laughs> other things. Okay. Now I'm going to give y'all a quiz. Through management? Huh? Are you going to get it cleared through management? Well, I am management. Okay. <laughs> Just like Alan is, Marty is. I am management. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Hang on a second. I gotta find, I'm going to do a quiz, Brad, on this right here. You guys are in the insect business. Y'all can get shed anything, right? That's correct. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> Most anything. Do you know, survey says, Matthew, do you know what a gigabyte is? Don't tell me what it is. Do you know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pretty close. Yes. <laughs> Frank? No. 
I know Frank does. Do Frank you? would be one of the 27% that think a gigabyte is an insect. <laughs> <laughs> that's something to do with computers, but that's all I know. Very well, good, then Frank. you should have said that, Frank, before I made you look in the rest of the bunch here. 42% Matthew said uh, those surveyed said a motherboard was a deck on a cruise ship. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. That's right. The kicker, 18% thought the Blu-ray was an animal, marine animal of some sort. A fish. It's not. I agree with that one. That's a stingray. That's right. You should do that, James. Blu-ray. I think that would add to this show if you'd send, like, somebody out on the street to do surveys or ask questions, you know, so. I think that'd be you, good. Well, you want to do a new segment? Oh, not me. Huh? Not me. You know, <laughs> well, somebody. You, you know, you know, Shane would be great. Alan, you I would, Shane would, 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 would be. be. <laughs> me and Matthew. Right. Alan would probably be. I would too. really add to your show, Jane. Do what? <laughs> Send me and Matthew to the street to ask questions. Okay. Here's That's a scary, shocker. Shane. Here is a shocker that I cannot believe they're saying this. I'm changing subject, Jane. Of course. Headline says, "Y'all have a pool." Had one before, ever been in one, ever seen one, ever taken your kids to one. It says here, peeing in the poo could be bad for your health. What the? You think? What kind of research is this, Matthew? 